for the VOD. I am surprised. I'm very surprised that this is what was voted on. But we're going to do Minish Cap. I haven't done one of these in a little bit. I assume that's probably why it got voted on. But it'll be pretty chill. Pretty easy. I did slightly update my layout. Because I had made changes to my TP layout. And that altered my <laughs> uh, Minish Cap splits file for Rando, so that's fine. Surely this won't take too long. This is pretty standard settings. I don't think I really changed anything other than, like, enabling a few logic things that I typically would do anyway. So, I don't know. Surely... This won't take too long. Yo, Stavros. Oh, yay for simply the rockiest guy out there. Happy Green Day. GLHF on Rango Madness today. Thank you for the good luck. And the Prime Gaming for two months. Also, one's just not open. It's fine. Uh, I don't think I need those. No, there are... Mailman, please. Okay, so that's probably real. There are around 115 hours of this randomizer on YouTube. On my channel alone. Yeah, I've played about a little less than 20 hours now, Black Tiger. Because I played about the, uh, the same amount yesterday. If you're talking about my tweet. It is just very, very repetitive. <laughs> but I... I know that I'm missing things if I skip the repetitive parts. Like, if I didn't grind out the repetitive stuff, I wouldn't have the provoke materia. So... <laughs> Let's see what dungeon this is. I don't think there's anything I can do here. Let me really quickly before I forget to check these. Okay, so I don't need clod tops. And I don't need droplets location. Yeah. Rebirth is definitely good. Like, I did not like Remake. I will... Uh, I don't have anything for that. I very much did not like Remake. I thought Remake was objectively poorly designed combat. But Rebirth fixed that part and made actually doing everything more interesting. Hmm. 
It's weird. <clears throat> Must be on Karlov Metal or something. Oh, I have to reload the room. I have a bottle, that doesn't mean you're gonna let me buy now. Is there anything else I can do with just a bottle? There's no way. Yeah, there's no way that I have to do that. Did all that stuff. Alright, I guess I'm going into Fortress of Winds. I literally have nothing else to do but fortress with bottle. Oh, I can no, I can check this heart piece. I thought I needed lantern for that for some reason. Surely this is progression? Kind of? No, it's a trap. Okay, I guess I'm entering Fortress of Winds with nothing. This is just really weird because usually you wouldn't have to enter a dungeon with literally nothing. My favorite type of start. <laughs> the best. Only the best. Ow, let me out. Fantastic. <laughs> Alright, um... I'm just gonna do Minish Woods. Ocarina is the most open-ended item. Oh, I hit B. What <laughs> button did I press to play Ocarina? The problem is that I can literally explore almost the entire world with just the Ocarina. So, because I can go literally anywhere and do, like, two checks in every location, Minish Woods is the best place to go, but... That's pretty big. I 
I'll grab this. There's a book over there. Um. Yeah, let's go down here first. I love <laughs> bubble curses. <laughs> At least here, the curse wasn't that big of a deal. Alright, that fixes, like, everything. We're good now. Now I can do actual checks. Alright, rope. Doing this without a boomerang still sucks. Rope, please. Oh my god, get off me. <laughs> Worth. Um, do I want to go this way? Yeah, let's open up, um... This actually doesn't do anything for me, but let's open up this one here. I still can't do anything in Fortress of Winds. Do these settings have scrolls on the dojos? They do. Oops. That's something I forgot to change. Oh well. Postman. Um, I could go under the school. Grab this real quick. Okay. This is all in logic from top down, I think. Okay. 
You know what? Tektite, I will deal with you later. I'd rather not deal with the golden Tektites at all, but... <laughs> at least give me a boomerang. <laughs> See what Dungeon says. Deep wood. Um, I can do one check in here. Interesting. So I'm Gus Jar away from beating Deep Wood. I should have grabbed a parry. They get Bottle Glitch off of. I ate Tektites so much. Can you die already, please? Holy shit. <laughs> There's my boomerang. Uh, this way. This is a uh, this is a start. <clears throat> uh, let me go grab this Tektite. checks here. I guess I'll fight the Dark Nut.
really. Okay. Should be everything here. Um, there's more stuff in Minish Woods. Not really. Go from like Hylia. <clears throat> this is like the main reason I don't particularly like Ocarina Start. Because of that. Um I have to go this way. Let's me do all of the lower kernel stuff. I'm gonna reset my warp point. I can't. Oh, I have to jump down from over there. Do I want to use the fairy? Yeah, let's open this up. Uh, it's the grip ring that lets you climb ledges. Let's do this. And then I'll get a new fairy. I don't need Mountain Dew. Because I have Ocarina. Deepwood Shrine. <laughs> huh. I'm gonna finish the lower frontal checks first. Only one of the typically hardest to find items. Gust Jar is typically, like, pretty late. Getting it early is weird. It doesn't really do a whole lot. But Gustar does open up quite a bit. In terms of like just a single dungeon. Outside of that dungeon, it doesn't really do anything though. Like, I didn't need Gustar to do this, it's just faster. Okay. White Sword. Ow. 
Ow. Actually, I'm going to go over here first. Just to get these out of the way. Actual useless item. There is small keys. I will dive into the dungeon a bit. There, I can do, like, everything here. I actually can... Yeah, I can full clear this. The mirror shield doesn't really do anything in this game. Okay, I do not want to die to a puff stool. Graveyard key does do th something though. Holy shit. <laughs> this might be a jet seed. Like, there's a very real possibility this is just a really fast seed. No cape. Sadness. Oh, can you not? These settings disable that, huh? Oh well. Slugula. I can still, like, mostly move through here. My roll rhythm is, like, very off. <laughs> but I think that's to be expected. choose not to die here. Yes, the kin kinstones I definitely need. Five hearts. Is there a reason to come down here right now? Not really. Well, I could need this. I don't, but I could.
What is blue warp? Alright, there's my keys. Go away. Hello, Matter Pillar. Dude, roll up, please. <laughs> uh, I should grab that piece of art. Matter pillar was required. Wow. I actually needed to fight matter pillar. I guess I do the last two checks. Oops. Thanks, please. As much as I don't want to use the lily pad. Three and then three. Cool. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's see if there's anything in the boss key chest. Nope. All right. Where's the, uh, perfect, actually? This is actually... God damn it. Actually pretty nice. Okay. Well. I might as well have already beaten Big Green Shoe. Nice jump. RNG. Uh, kinstone pieces don't do anything in randomizer. They're purely vanilla items. Because in randomizer, the things that they do are already open. They open up a lot of areas, but the rando just opens them by default. Mm, I'll take the rupees.
All right, so that's deep wood full cleared. I'll do this side first, and then I'll do Colonel Climb. Time to do the actual climb. What am I doing after Chrono Climb? Should be thinking about that. Uh, I can go into Deepwood Shrine location. I don't have bow, so I can't beat Fortress of Winds. And then I don't have mitts, so I can't do anything else there. So I do need bow and mitts. Flippers, I could do... I could go towards Droplets location. Although that only matters if Droplets is... Could be DHC. So I guess I should check that. Just to see if Droplets is DHC. I should grab at least a full pocket of money. One more chest. You did this to yourself, Behat. I could do Veil Falls stuff also. Why did you put me here? Um. Veil Falls in the Cloud Tops doesn't. It does give me Palace of Winds. Location? That's not like super interesting though. Definitely Lake Hylia is where I should go. After I clear out, uh. Castle Town. Town. Go in here. I had to buy the item regardless, but lantern would have been nice.
Uh, there was nothing down here, right? Yeah, it was just pie. I can go down there. Say flippers. I need four more hearts. Checks and then probably Veil Fall. No, like Hylia. Keep forgetting, like Hylia. Alright, like Hylia. That with, um, Ghost Char. No. Hmm, is this DHC? Not a big deal if it is. It is, okay. Um, I can do some stuff here. DHC is a Todd. By some stuff, I mean one check. One check without cheating. Ow. Okay, that's good enough. Mm, 20 rupees is really not what I'm out of my way for. Red Sword would have been pretty nice to have. Out of the way, Moblin. I can do this way. Uh, I will open this. This is too convenient to not have open. over here. Garbage key. Really? Okay. Big book. Imagine buying the rupee. Um, ba -ba -ba. I didn't mean to fly there. I meant to fly to home.
Does this open automatically or do I have to go to Cloud Tops? This is just a test. It looks like I have to go to Cloud Tops, yeah. Alright, that's fine. I don't know if I'd ever... I probably had tried that before. The irony of entering over here just to open the doors. Are equipped. Nice. Thanks, Greggle. I don't need whatever dungeons up here. Check what it is, just like confirm. Not really a point to though. I think at this point I would still need like every item. Whole lot enough them. I think it's gonna be deep wood location at this point. Whatever, it doesn't matter. All right, deep wood location. Do do do. I have flippers. I can do minish flipper caves. It's a little annoying without cape. Yo, Feely. Mm. It's like a heart container. Doing this without cape or boots is very cringe. Alright, let's see if I can just walk into my second dungeon and just completely finish it in one go. It's not Fortress of Winds. And if it's Cave of Flames, I can do like half of it. If it's Droplets, I can't do a whole lot. Actually, eh, doesn't matter, it's Cave of Flames. So I can do half of this and just hope that the cane is vanilla. Or French vanilla. Uh, 
Um, I don't really have a reason to cheat other than it would be faster. Do I have an item that I can hold out? I have shield. I can do angle retention off of shield. Okay. <laughs> Yo, Helmosaurs. <laughs> Good room. There's a small key. Okay. I can cheat. And not really feel bad about it. shield to do this. Lantern doesn't do a whole lot for me, but... Flames. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. I will grab this just in case. I don't have pain. Yeah, I don't have cane. I don't have ape. So this is the last thing I can check. checking. Yeah. Can't do anything else here. Oops. I hate Deepwood Entrance. I hate... No, it's just Deepwood Entrance that does that. Oh, you can't Ocarina from it. Every other dungeon entrance you can just Ocarina away. Do I just cheat? And do these checks? I think that'd be funny. Okay. Come on. Okay, I got stage 2 OG. That's fine. 
Do 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 Let's open this up. And refresh the room, cancel OG. Hey, bow out of logic. <laughs> I feel like that's not the first time I've gotten a bow out of logic in the western woods. Out of logic bow gets me caster wilds checks. Okay, that was unnecessary. Do I just do caster wild stuff? And hope for cape? Paper boots. Oh, I had flippers. I could have just done this anyway. That's fine. <laughs> Time to do a bunch of caster wild stuff that I'm not supposed to be able to do. Tenth heart. Cool. I think it's from here that you can make this into the water. Nice. Watch this actually be spin attack. Close. Close. That was spin. Um, I have to go the kind of awkward way here. Oh, this is. I think this is the intended path. <laughs> Ironically, I don't know why this would be here if this wasn't the intended path. possibility that there's nothing in Caster Wilds. Like, fairly realistic. It's like, this is deeper and deeper out of logic.
But I am supposed to come here eventually. So maybe. Maybe I get rewarded. For doing this very early. At this rate, it doesn't look likely, but there's still a decent number of checks left. Stones. He had. Nice arrow pull. Boomerang. Okay, I actually have to grab this. The rare. I need the dog food. <laughs> Potentially. I'm just going to go straight and see what the dog food is. be really funny if this is required. It was a book. It was a book. Um, okay. Thinking. Lantern checks. Back to logic. That was a fun trip out of logic. <laughs> it didn't really reward me. God damn it. I wasn't even out of logic at that point. <laughs> like, I actually wasn't even out of logic at that point. Just give me the cape. Fine. Long spin. Sword beam. Um, I should go get the one in by the castle just in case it's spin. And probably the ten heart one also.
<laughs> okay, I got spin. I am good for skills. Okay, is there anything that this could be that I can't do in one shot? I don't think so. I actually think no matter what this is, I can do it in one shot. Well, oh no. It could be Palace of Winds, in which case I need Blue Sword. I guess that's the down- that's the thing that it could be that would suck, is Palace. Actually, Crypt would also suck. I'd still need blue- I still need Blue Sword for Crypt. To clear it, at least. Mm hmm. Like, I can finish Crypt right now, but I can't do the- all the checks. I forgot that that room existed. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Hmm. Yeah, because I need so I need three more sword upgrades. I do need the cane, and I need mitts. Yo. Trying to think of how to pronounce your name. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thinking of how you're supposed to pronounce that, but also, like, what I'm doing. Welcome to the stream. So I'm hoping this dungeon is... Well, if it's droplets, it might just have a sword inside anyway. And I only need red sword. Droplets might be the best case scenario. Yes, Temple of Droplets. Great. Great. <laughs> I can't do anything there without two sword upgrades. There is the chance that there's two sword upgrades. In these two checks. Alright, the chance is dead. I have to come back here later. Pain. Okay. No, I still need... Like, I need Kane. 
for Cave of Flames, but I have Cape. And Cape does get you a lot of the checks remaining. Kane could still be in Cave of Flames. I don't think that's worth gambling. <laughs> what else do I have open to me? Is there just not a lot? There really isn't a lot. There really is not a lot open to me. This isn't what I want to do, but it is. Like, I don't have mitts. I don't want to do cloud tops without mitts either, but I think that's better. <laughs> Not really. No, I. Okay, no, I do need cane. I need cane regardless to do anything in Cave of Flames, unless I want to, like, learn a new trick on the spot. Yeah, I'd have to learn a completely new trick to skip Kane. And I'm not doing that right now. Because I think it's something with OG and Gus Jar lets you skip Kane. Okay, can you guys, like, actually jump where you're supposed to? Hey, hey, shark, 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 shark. Thank you. Like, what am I hoping for in Cloud Tops by doing this? I feel like the answer is literally just, like, mitts or... Mitts or cane, mostly. <laughs> Jump, please. Come on, Link. Okay, that's yeah, that's all I can do here without. I'm gonna do Simon Simulation. I'd go under the school. I have Toadstool. Actually, buy out uh, Boron Merchant. See third set before I commit to anything. Okay, nothing. All right, so nothing on Goron Merchant at this point. Simon. I 
I could check the bottle scrub. I never did that. And I've had shield and bombs for a while. If anything, that's reason that it's nothing, but... It's like because I've had these for a while. DHC tracks, maybe? I hate the idea. I have everything I need for it. Kill me. Get that vanilla heart piece. Like, I don't like this idea, but I don't have a better one. because I have lantern first and I don't like doing the bulk without feather or boots. this chest is something and I don't have to do all the other ones okay let's go red portal I think this one's technically out of logic because the spin attack is considered a trick. Okay. It is pixel perfect horizontally. Why did I go up here? I think there's two more chests I can check. Cause I don't think I can do anything. Oh, 
Because I think everything else requires four sword. Guineas. Guineas. Let me go. Please don't make me do the bow chest. Okay. I mean, at this point, not much choice in the matter. Fantastic. Fantastic. I'm going to kill all these guys. Also the frickin' War Masters. That's why I hate that. Please let me. Oh my god. Doing this without butterfly. <laughs> or like being able to cancel at all. Dude. It's so fucking tight. No one likes that one. <laughs> Refuse to believe. Garbage! Okay. This was a good... This was a good start to a seed. Ugh! Oh, unfortunately. Uh, let me get whatever skill this is. It's like Rock Breaker. That's like kind of reasonable. Oops. All right. Uh, Fortress of Winds without Mitts gets me not much. Really not much. I'm just gonna bomb the bottom of the school. Yeah, you need uh cane for that. All right. The really Isn't it just the compass chest? Or map chest? Means just the map chest, right? There's nothing else I can do in here without mitts. No, there's there is some stuff left side. Some. 
Not much. Because a lot of this also requires red sword. And by some, I mean, I think, one check. Yeah, literally one check. Because everything else requires mitts and... Mitts and red sword. This is all I can do here. It's the boss key. I still need mitts. <laughs> Doesn't... It doesn't help me. Because <laughs> I still need mitts to, like, do anything here. No, the pots aren't randomized. Okay, Krennel is cleared until I have Red Sword. I'm just looking at the map. Caster is cleared. Completely without mitts. Western Woods is cleared. There's really nothing there. Li Librari? Forgot about this check. Town that I haven't done. I checked Juliet's house, I'm pretty sure. I like vaguely remember checking it. Yeah. I don't think this is in logic. Yo, Barber. Not bad. I'm pretty sure this isn't in logic. Because screw Anju. Yeah, okay. I was pretty sure I didn't have that in logic, but I wanted to double check. Alright. What else could I be missing? There is... Can't get up there without Kane. There's just so many things that need, need Kane or Mitz <laughs> at this point. Um... Ba -ba -ba. Yo, help me, thank you for the 11 months. Got horribly lost. Uh, I mean, there's a lot to keep track of. I haven't done this in a while. Admittedly. Thank you, Postman.
What have I not checked? Like, legit, what have I not checked? I know I've cleared that. Shop has nothing. Did that. I'm just blocked on cane and mitts. <laughs> Like, horribly blocked on cane and mitts. After such a good start, this has to be, like, something really early that I'm just forgetting. I refuse to believe this isn't, like, incredibly early access to something. I can't do anything in Cave of Flames. I can't do anything in Palace of Winds. And I can't do anything in Fortress. I literally can't do anything in those dungeons without the two items that I'm missing. I'm completely blocked until I get the either of those items. Like just completely blocked on these two items. From doing everything. Literally everything is blocked on these items. Oh! I hate this check. This check is so stupid. Lantern. Lantern got me cape. And I kind of just forgot about other stuff that I had. I was like, oh, Lantern got me cape. I'm done with Lantern. This stupid check. It's down here. It wasn't Percy? Okay. I'm back to being lost. What the fuck am I missing? There's no way I missed something at this point. What could it be? Got that chest, I got that chest, I got those. I can, oh my god, I can do that. I technically can do this. I just can't do it the normal way. It has to be this. Just because I don't know what else I have. <laughs> Like, this is a check that I think normally I wouldn't forget about, but normally you'd also just have mitts here. This is a check that to get the quick kill on these sharks, you use Digger's mitts. And I don't have Digger's mitts. So I just cannot get a quick kill. The traditional way. It, okay, it still isn't anything. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? 
What am I missing? This entire game is like mitts blocked. <laughs> the entire game is mitts blocked and I don't have mitts. I have no idea what I'm missing. Like, I am trying so hard to go over the map right now and be like, what could I be missing? And I don't think there is, like, anything reasonable. Two right side. Key drop. I might go check that, but that doesn't make sense. Is there anything I forgot to... No, I full cleared Deepwood. I full cleared Deepwood. I'm actually marking stuff off on the map, which I don't normally do. Did that, did that, did that, did that, did that. Did those, did that, did that, did that, did that. I know I did all this. I know for a fact I did all that. Did I not enter that fucking tree? Eastern shops. Juliet's house. I don't have a spoiler log anyway, so I can't, like, verify. I think this is a rip, because I must have missed something. She has nothing. Is there something in Cave of Flames I can do that I'm not thinking of? No. There isn't.
I saw this chest and I didn't grab it, didn't I? No, I did grab it. Okay. I can get that? Okay, this is also one of, like, my most hated checks. I have cape, I can get that. That's why. Because you can do this. Okay. It might be this. It might be this is, like my cane, and that opens up the entire game. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Back to marking stuff off on the map. Then all those towers. Nothing in DHC. Statue. Can get there. Even when I was like super actively doing Minish Cap Randos, these are checks that you just don't do. <laughs> Like, these are checks you don't do without other items. Like, without Kane, this is a waste of time normally. One out of the three checks here requires Kane. The start of the seed was so good. And then I just got dumpstered by... Mitz and Kane. Being God knows where. That's fucking nothing. I mean, it's not nothing, but it's pretty much nothing. This feels like Hendra Shuffler, but I know it's not. Like, this is not Hendra. <laughs> Hendra Shuffler creates plandomizers for you, and how it places items. Okay, that's nice. And I know this is not Hendris. Thankfully, Red Sword literally only gets these two checks. Or these two sets of checks. Oops. Oh no, Red Sword gets me stuff in Fortress too. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> 
That's so awful. Okay. Back into Fortress. Without- still without mitts. Still without the one item I need to actually beat that dungeon. The way this seed started, I legit thought that this would be like an hour 20 minute seed. Uh, small key is over here, right? Yeah. This seed was so generous. In the first, like, 10 minutes. Giving you, like, every single important item. I need the small keys. Mm. This is what the game does. <laughs> Gives you a disgusting, terrible seed. This one? Excuse me? It is that one. For not playing it for a while. I'm not going up there. <laughs> um, I am saving. Save, do left side. If it's nothing, go back and do right side. Ah, uh, that's- it's not necessarily gonna be... The way that this, like, rewards me is... Like a vanilla mitts, basically. Oops. Are you fucking serious right now? Technically not done with Fortress of Winds right now, but Boots opens up stuff. <laughs> God. I'm gonna double check and make sure this isn't Hendris. What do my settings have? So, if you don't know, this game has two different item shufflers. I can beat Palace of Winds. And one of them is the Hendris shuffler made by Hendris. That places items in a very linear fashion. 
typically it would be like effectively a couple spheres of progression or a couple items per sphere at most. Which generates seeds that can really only be described as plantomizers. <laughs> because most generators don't create, like, hellishly linear seeds. But I can beat Palace Winds, so... We're going to do that. <laughs> the fact that this was here this whole time and I just couldn't do anything. I don't have fast split. Oops, one roll. I'm definitely cheating in Palace of Winds, by the way. I, I am not doing Palace of Winds normally. Sorry, but also like not sorry. to do Warble Hop, so I'm forced to open this. I go up twice. <laughs> I did sign up for the Paper Mario Rando League, by the way. For those that might be curious. It's a shame that not a lot of the typical top players are signing up. I don't know if Rigby will. 
it might just end up being kind of dominant. Chain Soldier. We'll see. I don't know what the groups are gonna look like because there's no no Jcog. You'll gear him. Yeah, Singman has been pretty close. So, like, he definitely will probably be in the same group. Yo, Venma. It is a cosmetic option. <laughs> Bruh. Nice bug. <laughs> I haven't seen infinite falling happen there. That feels real bad. It is mostly Singman though that has been like pretty close as far as I remember. Yeah, that was a soft walk. Uh, where's the clouds? The clouds are here. I just can't see them. There they are. Good old rando bugs. <laughs> Fucking serious. <laughs> oh, well, now I need to redo that. I need that tile to be there. But yeah, I'm sure Singman and I will. Singman will be in the same group. I don't think Adam would be, but he might. There's a chance. Like, Adam has gotten really fast times, but he's not as consistent. Adam did technically beat me on one of the asyncs where I... mismarked what the chapters were at the, at the beginning. There's a, probably a good chance Adam might be just because other people aren't playing. Is my guess. But I don't, like, I don't, Rigby might, I don't know. He just hasn't played Paper Mario in a very long time now. Yo, Star. We're doing all right. Just need to get back to where I was before I soft locked. Oh, beautiful. This seed is not great, to say the least. This seed has been really rough. Alright, time to not soft lock this time. I'm gonna heal. Oh, I thought. Was that not sword? Oh, 
I don't know why I did that. Damn, I missed the Moblin. Yeah. Sing Man is really good at Paper Ando. And one of the reasons he's gotten a lot better is because he's been doing speedruns. Like, that is not... I'm sure he would probably say the same thing. Because he has been speedrunning Glitchless, he's gotten a lot better at just movement. And that has helped his times a lot. Uh, I'm gonna heal again. I, I could go fight Georg and not do this, but... I also haven't seen Amish do Paper Mario for a while, but I assume he'll probably sign up for the league. Otherwise, I'm not sure who all is gonna be doing it. Alright, P hat. God damn it. I keep pressing <laughs> select because it's the Y button on my controller. Tingle Trophy does nothing without cape or without cane. Yeah, it's just kind of weird. I don't know if Paper Aria will. Just because I haven't seen him stream in a long time. That's just the shortcut. Admittedly, he didn't really stream much before Season 1 either. And he still did that. Who knows? It'll be a, probably a pretty different landscape than it was previously. Almost done with Palace of Winds, and there's been like nothing here so far. No actual progression. And the other two dungeons need the other two items.
Yo, Pidge. You know, totally normal things. I don't know, I think the fact that I had Gus Jar early kind of like set me up for disappointment. <laughs> Considering Gus Jar is something that you typically find at the very end of the game. Ironically. This is the last check other than Georg. Fitting. He's just hanging out. <laughs> Don't mind him. All right, Yorg. Do it. I missed that ball. All right, this is fine. Easy. Honestly, not a bad fight. Could have been worse. <laughs> hey, a book. I already had that book. <laughs> Alright, back to doing Blue Sword stuff. Blue Sword did open up quite a bit. Admittedly. A book.
Okay. <laughs> Imagine having the Thor Sword before you have the Cane of Pachi. One, two, three. What does Damp I have? Silly randomizer bugs. Do do do. Where's the butterfly? It's a butterfly. It's like... Where's the flying item? Okay, well that's the graveyard. I can't do school without Kane. Okay. more trees are there to bonk? One. I mean, this is a few checks at least. Ow. Ow. I have the four sword, I could do I could do DHC checks with four sword. That could be what I have to do. God, if my cane is in Hyrule Castle. Mitz and Hyrule Castle would be just the worst troll. bracelet so I can only do one of the checks down here. Okay, good thing it's not required. <laughs> I can't believe I'm going into Hyrule Castle with a four sword.
I mean, that was worth a check. That was worth doing. Two element pedestal would have been mean. <laughs> but you know what else is mean? The fucking king of Hyrule. Literally, who checks king? Oh my god. Bubbles, please. Literally, who checks King of Hyrule? to the castle. <laughs> There's two checks. I should have checked the other one first, but whatever at this point. <laughs> do this. I will check the compass. Go check the uh, boss key chest.
literally of all the goddamn chests. It was the Hyrule Castle Compass chest. For the cane of Pachi. <laughs> uh, I have a choice. I can either do Cave of Flames now, or I can do other stuff. Or I can do overworld checks. The Cave of Flames stuff I have to do regardless. Well, I don't have to do the checks there, regardless, but I have to do Cape of Flames anyway. So surely this will go quick. That has to be, like, the worst chest. <laughs> and the worst way to get there. Out of my way, bomb mobs. <sighs> I think I have had the king matter before, but man. Not like that. What a seed. What a god awful, terrible seed. I didn't even try and make this seed bad. Didn't even try. Yes, thank you. Hey, uh, roll a bite. I need you to go, like, out of my way. Was that necessary? Not really. <laughs> Alright, there's my boss key. <laughs> uh, I'll just do this vanilla, that's fine. That was all a little bit of uh, what's called angle retention. just like shenanigans <laughs> ow damn it 
damn it. Just don't want to have to ride these things. Angle retention is a very funny glitch. Uh, I do need Kane. Oh, no, I can do this without Kane. I'm going over here anyway. Hello, Jabbernut. Most useless item in Rando. <laughs> That glitch is used a lot. Well, not really even a lot. It's used a handful of times in speedrun in any percent. But not in that particular way. Croissant. Admittedly, I do wish that when I submitted any percent in Glitchless for this game to events that they accept that instead of the other stuff I submit, but... <laughs> Minish Cap speedruns are very cool. Fuck all in Cave of Flames. <laughs> the randomizer is very different from the base game. Like, I think more so than most randomizers are. Admittedly. It also creates some, like, absolute fuckery <laughs> for item placement, which is fine. It's just Dark Hyrule Castle. think so. It, it could... I'm not gonna say it isn't, but it could also just be because not as many people play this. As there are that play Link to the Past. Less dungeons, less dependency on dungeons in some ways. That makes sense. I do think that that is a good... Like, having more overworld and more spread out stuff is pretty cool. For a randomizer. Oh, whoops. My brain was like, oh, I don't have to like do anything, I'll just get teleported out. I guess I'm gonna go to the school. Because I have Kane. Maybe school has my mitts. Yeah, I can't really... Personally, I can't really say much about Link to the Past, just because I don't... know how the rando plays out as much. Postman.
Yeah, Wind Waker, the distance between checks is, in my opinion, fine for if you don't care about just spending your entire day on it. The overworld is cool, but a lot of sailing between islands doesn't really need to... It's mostly just like filler, time-wise. Wow, okay. It wasn't School Garden. That's crazy. Uh, there's no reason for me to do that check, actually. <laughs> I mean, I watch Butter and Arma do Wind Waker. Neither of them do Super Swims, they just do storage. <laughs> storage definitely feels like it speeds up that game pretty significantly. forget this part of the map. <laughs> well, spoilers, I'm not doing two Minish Cap Seeds. because I rolled something else. Minish Cap also definitely, I get more seed bleed than I would like any other game, I feel. Seed bleed in this is pretty easy to just ruin your day. Fastest way to get there. I don't really get seed bleed in Paper Mario. At least not terrible. Usually seed bleed in Paper Mario results in like, I forget what's in sh the shops. Then that's like where it ends. This would be crazy if I have to do this.
Of course it's never that, but... Like, admittedly, you know, I'm close to a thousand hours in Paper Mario Rando, and I'm, I have 118 hours in this one. Bruh. I would be so annoyed if I have to do this. Now that I have Kane, but I am running out of ideas otherwise. Like, <sighs> there are red sword related checks in Fortress of Winds that I have not done. I'm just kind of banking on Mitz not being in the dungeon that it normally is. I would like that to be the case. So I can just go fight Mazal. Trophy? I did get Ting- Ah, uh, I did get the Tingle Trophy. Does Tingle have my goddamn Digger's Mitts? No. <laughs> Am I out of checks other than Fortress of Winds? I am. I'm like pretty sure I am. Okay. If Digger's Mitts are here, there aren't that many places it can be. Not that many places it can be.
So this is this is either mitts. Or this is a small key that leads to mitts. Uh, that was the last location. <laughs> there was literally no other choice. Bes between that and a small key. <laughs> Where mitts would have been the next check. I'm pretty sure that's the case. Ah. Uh. Uh, bow. I just have to kill Mazal and Vadi. Sub three woo. Damn, Mazal dies are real fast to Force Horde. Mazal is one of the few damage based bosses in this game, and not cycle based or hit count based. Good RNG. Crazy. Uh... Imagine getting that RNG in, like, a setting where I cared. <laughs> About how good that RNG was on Mazal. <laughs> trying to remember what I'm doing. Alright, I do not have... Dash. Do not have fast charge. I do have great spin. <laughs> Took long enough to set that up, didn't matter. Damn it.
Uh, this is Rando Vadi One. So this is not quite the same as GP. cycles of this. Two. Link. Link, face off, please. Analog stick, please. to the other side, please. cycle because I had an unlucky body pattern. Bruh. Oh my god, come to the other side, man. <laughs> Please. Holy shit, body. Come to the other side. Seriously. Oh my God. Vadi. Body, please. <laughs> Stop dancing around. <laughs> mm. Wrong arm body. I didn't use the boomerang. Not like it matters.
I'm too far right. The Gorong is literally in my way. <laughs> okay. Cannot see the pixel. are playing terrible timing. Oh, what a seed. Holy God. <laughs> oh. Cane and mitts. Let's look at how far those were. Oh my god. Smith sword at 9 minutes. White sword at 23 minutes. Four sword, 2 hours, sure. Bombs, 8 minutes. Bow. Boomerang, 15. Shield, 16. Flame Lantern 49, Gust Jar 21, Kane 2 hours and 15 minutes, Mulmitz 2 hours and 36 minutes. Ah! Oh, thank you for the GG's. Other than. I mean, I was kind of blocked on a red sword too. Hour, an hour between sword upgrades from white sword to red sword <laughs> hour and 16 minutes between those sword upgrades that was like the true bottleneck was fountain god anyway this was the <laughs> rando that was voted on this week in discord if you want to be able to vote in future <laughs> future Saturday randomizers make sure you're in the discord for the polls they get posted every week every Sunday night um yeah thank you for watching if you were watching this on YouTube I know Minish Cap is not the most popular Zelda rando that I upload by a long shot <laughs> but it was fun to do for the first time in, I don't know, a few months. It's been a while. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you for watching on YouTube. And if you haven't done so, you should subscribe to the channel. <laughs> uh, and thank you for watching. Goodbye, YouTube viewers.